Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Community Journal. Our guest this morning is Eric Beebe, the director of the Harwich Recreation Department. And Eric, as always, it's nice to have you here with us. Well, thanks for having and, me. It's great to uh, be here. Good to see you always. Yep. And uh, your uh, outdoor programs must be coming close to the end, and the new one, the indoor ones, be going to yeah. again. Yeah, fall is a tricky time because yeah, we, uh, right. we usually have um, two sessions of all our programs that we offer through the fall. Um, the first half, we try to get outside as much as possible. Okay. Uh, second half, we start to move indoors as it gets colder. Um, so right now we have a full slate of programming. Uh, we're kind of right in the middle of session one, um, but session two of all of our programs uh, starts around the first week of November, okay. um, and they all still have openings. Um, so if you wanted to, if you didn't get in session one, there is limited space. Uh, we have plenty of room in uh, se session two. Um, I can kind of give you a rundown. Um, every day of the week we have something going on. Um, we also have school pickup available. Uh, for the kids. We'll go right out in the rec van and pick up the kids at the elementary school and we'll bring them here yes. or, to the, or to the old middle school That's cultural great. center um, just so make it easier for parents. That's really good. Um, so right now we have on Mondays we have a crafting and confections class. Um, that one's very popular. Yeah. The kids love that. They make little arts and crafts uh, that they bring home. Um, a session two of that begins November 6th. Um, Tuesdays we're running youth tennis uh, that runs over at Brooks Park until it starts to get too cold then yeah. we'll be at the, the cultural center cool. um, that starts November 7th um, on Wednesdays we have a very popular uh, youth indoor soccer program that also runs at the cultural center um, that second session starts November 8th um, Thursdays we have flag football which does not have a second session but it goes further into the season mm -hmm. so we can still take more signups for that if you want to get in for the second half. That, that's strictly outdoor? That is outdoor oh, so they gotta brave the cold <coughs> for that one but, oh, yeah. but it's football. Oh so. that's right, football, I'm used to that. Yeah right <laughs> and then um, as far as Fridays go we have uh, Fun Fridays which is an after school program a bunch of different activities they play there's a great one for grades one and two and one for grades three and four. Um, the second session of that begins November 3rd. So there's plenty of room in that too. And Good. like I said, all of these, we offer the school pickup. Um, we can pick up up to 23 kids a day with the no vans kidding. that we have. That's, that's wonderful. Um, and one thing that we, we had to uh, hurdle this year was um, the, the school was getting out earlier this year. Uh -huh. So there's a little more time in between when our staff gets here. So we do, a lot of times we'll bring them back here um, we'll have homework time for them for an hour. Uh, sometimes we'll watch a movie for an hour. And then once all our staff gets here, we, we go into our normal activity. Mm -hmm. So the kids seem to be liking it, and it's fun for us, too. Um, and then uh, Saturdays, we still have our, our K-1-2 soccer clinic, which still has some openings. Um, we've already had a couple, but you can still get in on that. And we're starting a new program. Um, it starts this Saturday, actually. It's youth fall archery. Oh. Um, it's going to run right Saturday mornings right behind the community center. Um, if, it's, if the weather's not good, we'll have it right in the gym. Um, it's a safe, safe way for them to, to try out archery. Uh, we have all the supplies. All you have to do is show up. Um, we still have space in that. And like I said, that starts this Saturday. It's, at 11, it's from 11 to 12 every Saturday. Good. So that's a popular one. Um, our, our instructor for that is uh, Rich Gifford. Um, used to work over at the high school. He's very experienced in archery. He's been doing it for us for a couple of years, uh, but it's the first time we've offered a fall class. Yeah, so right. we're excited about that well, one that's great. too. So we're staying busy. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of programs going, and that pickup must be great for the parents. Yeah, it's it really worked out well. Yeah. We're actually <coughs> trying to uh, put in for funding this year for a third van so oh, we can yeah. pick up even more okay, kids. Good. Um, it, you know, it helps. Most of our programs end at around 5 o'clock, so parents don't have to worry about anything yeah. until 5. So yeah. they, they sign up for the program, and then they go onto the school website and authorize us to pick them up. Mm -hmm. And we do that every day. We yeah. could do it That's with right. our eyes closed now. We've done I'm it so I'm sure they time. love that. <laughs> so, yep, it's worked out well. Good. Um, so it's been a busy fall, and we're also setting up, uh, we don't have them set in stone yet, but some special events. Um, we're going to have some, some special nights. We're going to have candy bar bingo night. Uh, we're going to have pizza and a movie night. 
Um, and we're also going to have our end of the year soccer party um, for all the soccer, whether you did K-1-2 soccer, indoor soccer, travel league soccer. Oh. Um, we had our first one last year at White House wow. Field. And we bring the grill over, we grill hot dogs, come out, we play a huge game of soccer. It's fun under the lights at White House Field. So that yeah. should happen sometime in November. We'll have dates and times for everyone uh, within the next week or two. Well, you must spend a lot of time organizing these things. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But it we, is you know, a lot of work. We have, uh, <coughs> we have a great staff, and we have a really good staff of uh, high school and college kids that help us out with yeah. the programs as well. No, I'm really impressed with all the programs you have. It's great, Eric. So we work hard. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Um, and then the adults uh, programs are, are getting into full swing now. Um, we have pickleball on Monday and Friday nights. Mm -hmm. um, Tuesday night is a field hockey, adult field hockey, oh, in the good. gym here at the community center. Uh -huh. um, Thursday night is volleyball, um, adult volleyball. And then we also have our over 50 basketball that runs wow. during the days. Um, and the big one is pickleball. Um, is, is that the, the yeah, real especially now we had a lot of room with them playing outside, but that's yeah. going to change soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we, I think we have over 200 people signed up. Really? So Amazing. We're, we're about to start sign-ups for the new season, the indoor yeah. season. Yeah. Um, they, people could start signing up October 14th. Uh, right now it's Harwich residents only until we know how much space we're yeah. going to have. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go from there. So if you want to try out Pickleball, um, October 14th we start sign-ups. Uh, for people that aren't sure or have never played, we're going to have a clinic on Wednesdays as well, mm -hmm. uh, free. Uh, you could just come in, learn how to play. If you like it, you could sign up. So uh, should super. be good. Yep. So it's a growing sport. I'll have to sure. come see it. It's yeah, it's, uh, it's I, a fun one. I don't one. really know much about the yeah, game. Yeah, we have people uh, of every age. I believe yeah. we have, um, I don't, I'm not sure his name, but one, one uh, man that's 95 that wow. plays right now <laughs> at Brooks Park. So. He must be in good shape. I heard he's really good at it, yeah. too. So I haven't, oh, I haven't played him yet, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> So, yeah, we're looking forward to the fall. And before you know it, um, people are already asking about winter programs. Yeah, I bet. Um, that'll start coming out like the first week in November, our winter brochures. Yeah. And we'll have all our normal basketball. Uh, we'll still have arts and crafts and fun Fridays and indoor soccer. And we'll fill up the, fill up the gym. Good. So. Well, you have an awful lot of programs. That's, that's great, yep. Eric. We'll keep them busy. And all right? ages and yep. And, uh, yep, we try to hit every age. Children and, and adults. And of course, the, the older kids, the high school kids, they like to have a little independence. So we yeah. do have uh, open gyms for them oh, you do. Um, every day but Fridays, um, including Saturdays. Oh, good. Um, so they could come in. Um, there's no fee. Um, they just sign in and uh, they, they balls, the basketballs are out yeah. and they could do their thing. Oh, that's good. Um, and then we're going to be starting... Also in November, uh, every year for the winter months, we do Saturday night open gym. Uh, so normally Saturday op open gym is just from like 1 to 4, but it extends till 10 o'clock at night. Really? Through the winter. Oh, so that's great. So somewhere to, for them to go and Yeah. That's and good. That, yep. that keeps them busy that's and, right. and out of trouble. That's right. Good. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> so... We're ready to go. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I think that's it. Well, well, you have a lot on your plate, and uh, I'm sure you, you. Uh, I hope you have a good staff. That yeah, very good staff. Yeah. Planning and and if we come up with anything new, or if I forgot anything, I'll just find Jamie and try good. to get on here with good. you. Again. We're always, <laughs> always happy to see you, Eric. All right. Thanks for having well, good, me. Good, good luck on all these. Thank you. Good Thank job. You. Thanks.